Okay, so I started to take a video of this project and then it just got to be a little too much to keep up with the camera and all the work that I was doing this weekend. And there was a lot of start and stop on this project. I started it um, on a Saturday in the morning and then early afternoon I had to take a break and uh, go to a family function and then I worked on it a little bit on that Sunday and a little bit after work each night during the week here. It's Thursday now. And I'm at a spackle. Last night I ran out of glue. Um, I need one more piece of plywood to do the seat tops here and then a couple other little miscellaneous things. So this project's had a lot of start and stop. It hasn't been conducive for producing a good video, but I did want to kind of get some, some footage of where I'm at in the middle of the process. So I started with uh, basic design. These are some dining area benches with flip up seats with storage underneath. You come over here. Okay, you can kind of see. And these two long ones are 72 inches long. This little guy is 36 inches long. And the garage is a mess right now, so I apologize. Um, start stop working kind of is conducive towards making a mess in your shop and, and letting it get out of control. So you can see they got a little lid that flips up and open cubby inside. They'll have self-leveling feet or adjustable leveling feet on the bottom of them. And so they can move around there. They look built in, but they're not built in. So the client can move them around in her, in her dining area, breakfast area, and take them with her to the next house if she needs, or if her needs change, she can arrange these in an L shape, um, arrange them straight, you know, one across from the other with a table in between, a little bit of flexibility with these um, and so start with a simple design with uh, two long cases and this short case this is all three-quarter inch MDF construction we did that because this is gonna be a painted project the MDF is plenty strong enough it's nice and flat also keeps the cost down on a project of this scale we're talking several sheets of uh, sheet good here so there's a decent amount of savings in the material by going with MDF um, started with my Poor man track saw, um, door guide, I think is what some people call them. I just call them a, you know, an improvised saw track for making my rip cuts and my cross cuts. Um, I got some footage of that, so I'll show that in the video also. And then um, assembled everything. The uh, the small pieces on the end, they've got an eighth inch rabbit on each side to hold everything straight and square. The bottom is sized so it is um, underneath all four sides of the uh, the vertical part and then they just go on top it's all assembled with um, brad nails and glue and it's plenty strong trust me um, especially when you when you you know got the rabbits in here and then we've got one by three finger jointed primed pine trim on the outside to give it a shaker style effect on the outside and these are nailed and glued on and they wrap the corner you see how it kind of wraps the corner there so that locks the structure in these things are heavy they're solid and once they're painted they're gonna be relatively indestructible and durable um, for the kitchen and I do plan on painting them outside and inside uh, so they'll hold up to a lot of abuse and be able to be wiped down and cleaned fairly easily um, like I said, these are going to get adjustable leveling legs on the bottom. So if I go under here, the bottom has got these cleats. The long ones have one on each end and one in the middle. The short ones just have them on the ends. And that gives me an inch and a half of material to drill the threaded insert into for the leveling legs. And I'll show that in a later step. So just kind of document where I'm at in the process right now. You know, what's going on like I said it's a lot of start and stop on this project um, and so it feels like I've been working on it forever and not getting a lot of progress done for as many days as it's been but it's been mostly just because it's been start and stop you can see it's dark outside it's about nine o'clock at night um, you know working a full-time job and then coming home and doing this um, you know you kind of have to do it in little phases like that so stay tuned for more footage of this um, I'll post it um, as I you know, as I get to the next step, instead of trying to edit this all into one long video. Um, I know I haven't posted anything in a while. I've actually been pretty busy at work 
and fairly busy on these woodworking projects. I did, um, I did another project like this a few weeks ago, and I didn't film any of it. Um, it was a little more involved than this, and um, I was just trying to get the project complete to the customer with the coronavirus stuff going on. Everything kind of got in limbo for a little while. And in the interest of just speeding that project up, I didn't film anything. So um, don't have any footage of that project. I'm building another one in a few weeks that's going to be just like it, though. And I'll film that one. So thanks for watching. Hope you all are doing well. Bye.